Hello and welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi and should I say what a game? Should I say what a game we have seen? Arsenal 0, Manchester United 0. I expected more than that from Manchester United. I expected that more than that from Arsenal. But it was such a boring performance. I think the second, was, the second half was a little bit better. But overall, I think it was such a boring performance. We're going to be talking that and more. Please do subscribe and smash the like button. We are getting into it right now. Yes, um right welcome back let's just get into your match reaction arsenal zero manchester united zero it was a game that had you know aroused a lot of you know speculation a lot of uh passion in in in, in both fans of, of 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 both clubs you could hear many fans whispering about it but the end result on the pitch wasn't the same i think arsenal was so 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 off topic we were so off topic we were not in for a win Manchester United on the other end I don't know what they were doing because they were the better side I don't want to say we were the underdogs because we have a good run and I said this in the preview we have a, we, we had a very very good run Manchester United as well had a very good run I expected more entertaining football I expected open football I expected Manchester United to create as many chances try to score against Arsenal like five times six times but if you if you go back in that game and, and, and you check the chances they had how many chances did they have i think the cavani chance that was the closest chance they had us was so much a better side when it came to creating chances we had a couple of chances pepe wasting all the all, all our chances alexander like i said hitting the woodwork we were a little bit unlucky with that but i think it was overall i'm gonna say this it was a boring performance very very boring i was not really satisfied but i'm not much interested in in manchester united in this video i'll talk about arsenal because i want to react to how we actually played against united um this evening and i'll start with Mikel Arteta's mistakes first and foremost um i think he should have played a three four you know a three four three or a three five two why we went out there with four defenders and all of them almost all of them are right-footed Gabriel Magali stays on the bench. Cedric Sorry starts as a left back. We could, you know, it, it would have been easy for, for Manchester United um, to exploit us because I, I, I just think, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is tactically dull. That's the truth. You know, at least at halftime, you, you know, you should have seen a difference, but they were so down. They, they should have used that, 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 you know, that weakness that Cedric was playing in our left back. And I did disagree with that. I think he is so awful playing as the left back well many people are gonna tell me because he was doing fine he did fine but the reason as to why he did fine was as simple as this he was not under pressure from marcus rashford rashford and whoever was playing on that manchester united wing pogba um uh, you know marcel they were so dull they were so bad but i didn't agree with cedric sorry starting there um in the left back Defensive wise, I think we have done a great job. We did so well. Uh, we blocked all the avenues Manchester United could use, especially not letting them run behind our, you know, our, our defense. That was so brilliant, hundred percent. That is one of the things I saw. That was really tactical on point. Very, very, very on point. Don't let Manchester United run behind you. They run. Uh, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba with the long balls. Um, Edson Cavani crossing over the yard. You know that is their tr tr strategy. In the midweek, when they were playing against Sheffield United, Sheffield United knew how to stop them. They stopped them. And over the weekend, we knew how to stop them. We stopped them. The problem was we didn't score. We should have won this game. What? 3-0? Um, 2-0? You know, that should have been the final score. Okay, 2-1 because I think the Edson Cavani chance uh, was a little bit you know, decent enough. They should have scored through that. Um, and we were lucky not to concede. And I think Pepe uh, did a very, very bad job not to concede, you know, not to convert our chances. But the defensive, you know, the, the defense was okay. Hector Bellerin, for me, it seemed a little bit fine uh, today. I didn't think, um, I didn't see him as this kind of player that um, was as, you know posing a big threat um, especially defensive wise he didn't go you know, he didn't go forward so much um, I mean his impa 
impact was not there going forward uh let's just be you know honest but i think um he you know he did a very great job um you know defensive wise stopping rashford stopping martial it's not an easy job we've seen them destroy clubs away from home they had gone seven you know 17 matches actually you know unbeaten away from home that, that that's a hell of a record um of course they still they, they still keep it now they have 18 games um unbeaten um away from home in the premier league almost a year but um i'm not interested in that I'm, I'm, I'm i think it's a good thing that we did um you know get a point out of that the midfield um they, they, I, i'm gonna be very honest in the first half they dominated the midfield they dominated the midfield party and and, and granny jacker were a little bit struggling and and, and the idea was and and this is what olegana socia uh, did he knew that you know in the last game we played against them we compacted the midfield so what he did he compacted the midfield he had four midfielders scott mctominy started fred started pogba started and bruno fernandez started so he had four midfielders compact the midfield leave no you know leave no air leave no air spaces for arsenal to breathe in the midfield he did it so well they controlled that midfield in the first half and i was a little bit scared they should have scored in the first half they should have created chances i don't know why bruno fernandez so down you know it looked like their source of energy their necromancer was was, was paul pogba and because his magic was not on today you know things never worked out with them but i think their midfield setting was very fine and i, I think should i say we were lucky that scott mctominy got injured and it was stupid of 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 of, of, of olegan Sosha to pull off scott mctominy and bring in um anthony martial because martial was it, it had no impact did it of course he pulled you know he, he pulled popogba back in the midfield but for me i think he had gone with the right strategies in the first you know in the first place compact that midfield press arsenal don't allow them to get the ball you know he had got it right instead of bringing donny van der beek in the midfield man like bro, you know man like olegan Sosha brought in um anthony martial the party you know the, the party got spoiled and party started running over that midfield and emily smith row like you know the, 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 like they were wakanda man so i think the midfield the, i'll give credit to Manchester united you know they did a, a decent job in the midfield on the striking line now i cannot really credit anyone pepe rashford rashford had a couple of chances in the first half he should have buried them i don't know his morale looked so bad I, and i know ma many manchester united fans uh will agree with me on this you know he was literally not himself that's not the marcus rashford we know the marcus rashford that loves to run with the ball the marcus rashford that likes to take chances the marcus rashford that's going to hit that those balls on the volley the marcus rashford that's going to try to you know take on players in the opponent's you know half and and um and in the box he, he was not him you know he you know he, he loved the one touch and and he, actually he wasn't him I, I don't know whether it's because bruno fernandez is no longer uh you know getting that chemistry with with with, with rashford um i cannot really explain the bad performance but i think it was on our side um and, and and they were so awful awful going forward as not going forward i cannot really you know give any marks you know you know on our front line but i i give some credit to alexander lacazette that free kick let's talk about that free kick how the hell did it not go in first and foremost you know it should have been accurate not so i, I know many arsenal fans feel um we should have won this game courtesy of that free kick but make no mistake apart from that free kick the rest of the game was a little bit more balanced Manchester united getting the ball you know um you know on the front being on the front foot all the time and arsenal getting that ball and also being on the foot um on front foot you know some of the time so i think um apart from that lacazette chance i didn't see um much more you know chances that alexander lacazette really got pepe should have scored i think um you know he needs to get more playing time um i think if he gets more playing time and 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 and, and you know uh works on his finishing he's gonna be a great player he, he is a talent you could see um how he was you know trying to trouble you know manchester united but things never worked out of him um uh, there, there are things i didn't agree with why bring on william i did agree. I, you know you know I, I understand gabriel you know martinelli was literally so bad in the first half he was not himself he was not playing really he was not really playing football but bringing on william for me didn't work for me and, and i didn't agree with it and i don't think any arsenal fan out there is going to say because he um 
William came on and he had a very good game. No, I don't think uh, he had a good game. Uh, uh, if if you wanted to bring off Martin Ode, uh, sorry, uh, Gabriel Martinelli, I thought he should have brought in Martin Odegaard. Uh, trust me, because he can play on both flanks, um, and, and 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 he can play as as a number ten. And Emily Smith Rowe is very adventurous. He's never sitting in that number ten row, so he's going to be playing on the left, on the right. So I thought um, it was a chance to play for Martin Odegaard actually to play uh, for Mikel Arteta, but. Overall, I'm going to say this. Um, this is a game that really meant a lot for both clubs. And it really has infected and affected uh, the hopes of Manchester United on the, um, you know, uh, on the title race. Right now, there are 41 points um, you know, on the table. 21 matches played. We are 31 points um, on the table. 21 matches played. But if you could see Manchester City have a game in hand. And you know, it, it, it's, like, it, it's almost like um, City have three points now ahead of Manchester United with a game in hand. Now you could see how uh, Manchester United is really going to suffer uh, you know, with all that. But I, I, again, at the end, I think we have suffered more. This game really meant a lot. And Mikel Ateta, I don't know why we didn't start right away. We, it, it, you know, starting, it didn't look like we wanted the game. It, it didn't look like we were that ambitious for the win. But it's a game that really meant a lot for us. It's a game that really meant a lot for us. Now, if we had won it, we would be on, on, on level points with Tottenham Hotspur. Imagine, Tottenham Hotspur. We were 15th and Tottenham Hotspur were table leaders. And right now, if we had two more points, we will be on level points with Tottenham Hotspur. But you know what that means? We will be three points clear of Chelsea, however much Chelsea have a, 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 you know, a game in hand. Chelsea was second when we were 15th you know, last year. That is how much this game meant. You know, it could lighten up. It, it was going to lighten up our, you know, our hopes for, um, you know, the title. And of course, we are playing Wolves next. Of course, we could draw. You know, we, we could have drawn some, uh, you know, some energy, some motivation, some aspirations uh, from fr from the Manchester United win. But all in all, it was for me, it was a boring performance. Arsenal not just simply not good enough. Manchester United is just shit. They were just shit. I don't want to talk about them. I think, um, um, you know, they lack tactics. You know, I was talking to someone and I told them that, you know, United has been winning games um, in the past. Uh, they, they, they beat Newcastle on Burnley, cut us off Paul Pogba. And I think Pogba played well today. And I think Pogba played well against Sheffield United. And I think Pogba played well against Burnley and played well against ne uh, Newcastle. But... You, you know, you've got to stop this tennis of, of, of lying on one player. It's, it's what's happening at Arsenal. We never had Saka. We never had Aubameyang. We never had, um, you know, Kiantini. But you could see the only lacking player was Bukayo Saka. If Saka was on that pitch, we could have created more chances. Trust me. We could have opened more spaces. We could have got uh, behind the Manchester United fullback, you know, uh, defense and, and, and fullback small. But because we didn't have Saka, we were like... Some stupid kid lost in a you know in, you know in in a dark forest and you know you you have no chance of getting out bailing yourself out. Um, overall, bad performance. I'm gonna come with the player ratings, but I'm not going to be too harsh. Like people like Cedric, I'm gonna give him a six, a seven or seven point five. I think he was. I didn't agree with him starting in the left back, but was a little bit decent. I mean, he's playing out of position and he's doing a, such a decent job. I'll be too harsh with people like you know Hector Bellerin, but I'll not be very harsh. Um, I think. Overall, the players did what they had to do. Things never worked out. We were simply not good enough. My name is Kosi, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Subscribe if you like the video. Hit the, uh, hit the like button, and I'll speak to you in the next one.